Welcome to Iron Speed Designer Video Training. Today we're going to talk about changing the logo and copyright notice of your application. Once we've created an application with Iron Speed Designer, we can open it in the edit mode to change all of its features. Here we'll look at a page to see the default header and copyright notice that come with the application and these need to be changed in order to reflect your own distinctive logo and copyright notice. So we'll go to the header and footer section of the application, find the header control, and look at the layout editor of the header control, find the logo, and the logo in the appearance section of the property sheet is pointing at a URL in your images folder. So what we need to do is provide a new image in the images folder. Let's, I've already placed one in there. Let's look at it. We can go to our application and see that I've added to my images folder of my application the Iron Speed logo. So let me copyright the, uh, let me copy the text for that logo, go to our header control and put in the new text, and now the header, once I save it and build the application, I can preview it. If I preview the page itself, not just the control, I'll find that I have my new header. Also, for the footer control, we can do the same thing. We'll take a look at the footer control. In your footer control, there is a copyright image or copyright text. In the appearance section, again, the text shows us the default text. Let's make that personalized for Iron Speed Designer. And in addition, Let's add a horizontal rule above that. So we'll insert a row above here. We'll go to our toolbox in the ASPX and other controls, find ourselves a literal control. In that control, Let's edit the HTML, and instead of the ASPX literal, we'll add a simple horizontal rule. Now, if we build the page again and preview it, and preview the page, not just the control, we'll see we have the desired effect. The changes will occur on all pages. Since your Iron Speed Designer, every page uses the controls from the header and footer section for the header and footer in the master pages. Now you also might want to notice that there are different header controls. There's an email header and an email footer. These will be used, whoops, these will be used if you have email pages. So if you customize the header and footer control 
be sure to customize the email header and email footer controls if your page uses them. Also, be sure to check the mobile header control to be sure it reflects what you need. And that completes our training today for changing the header and footer of your application.